Hey, what's going on traders? Welcome to the video. This is Chris from Virillo Trading. We're going to do a little video here today because I've been reading a lot about the trading world, um, mainly stuff related to the platform Sierra Charts. And if you guys like the platform Sierra Charts, well, you probably found the right video because I gotta be honest with you guys, I love Sierra Charts. Now this on my screen, this is not Sierra Charts. This is Jigsaw. <laughs> Let's go to the other screen. That's This is what Sierra Charts is. Anyhow, let's talk about stuff here. Let's get going. In this video, what I'm gonna cover mostly is moving orders. Now, in this video, I'm not trying to promote trading. You guys know that trading is risk activity. So I'm not trying to tell you you need to trade or you should trade. But what I am gonna talk about in this video is things that are related to niche scalping styles of trading. So basically getting in and out of trades in a short amount of time, like placing limit orders very quickly and moving existing orders quickly. That's one thing that I'm gonna focus on a lot in this video. So let's start with Jigsaw. So Jigsaw is a platform that I use for trading and I like it a lot. I've been using it for over a year and I've just been doing some reading because I'm passionate about the trading world. And you know, I use Sierra Charts as well. I love Sierra Charts. I'll be honest with you. Sierra Charts is an amazing platform. It's actually pretty mind blowing when it comes to the amount of things you can customize on it. You can basically build any chart you want using Sierra Charts. There is no limitation. So picture a blank canvas and you have an idea for a chart or a way of displaying a certain data, you can do it with Sierra Charts 100 million percent, you can do it. But for now in this video, what we're gonna do is focus on moving orders. So I've been playing with Sierra Charts Dom. I'm gonna show you a few things in regards to moving orders for scalping positions, okay? So if I'm looking at trading a penny stock and Interactive Brokers is my broker, I'm going to need a few things and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So in this platform, Jigsaw, there's a few things that are game changing when it comes to scalping. So I would say this platform is designed for scalper type of traders, basically traders that get in and out of trades super fast and we need to move orders super fast. So I'll just give you an example right here. So I'm going to enter a trade. I'm on a demo account. So I'll just buy the offer right there. So you can see right now that I have a stop loss attached and I have a limit order attached. Actually, I have three separate limit orders attached with the stops all in the same place. Okay. Now here's the game changing feature. It's that wherever I click on the price ladder above my price, it's going to move the nearest order to the price I click on. That right there, if you're trading in a fast moving market is going to change the game for you completely. At least it has for me. So you don't have time to click and drag stuff. That's the meta for most trading platforms. If you use a slow platform like TD Ameritrade or Interactive Brokers TWS, you're gonna be stuck dragging your order around like that, okay? When the market is moving around a lot, if you trade NASDAQ or any fast market, crude oil or NASDAQ, you're gonna know, you, you know already that moving an order like this is way too slow, okay? Because right now you're looking at a market that's not moving, but most times on a volatile session, the market could be moving five, 10 points at a time. And if you're not there to move your orders quickly, well, guess what? You're gonna be messed up really quickly. So basically, if I wanna get out of this trade right now, I could click right there at 18 and I get filled on the offer at 18. So I fill the limit order right there. Now that that order filled, if I click above the price, it's gonna move my next limit order, okay? That's just the way I have the strategy configured. If I click on the other side of the price, it's gonna move the stop order. All right, so that's the functionality that's directly built into Jigsaw and it's a great functionality. What I'm gonna do later in this video is I'm gonna show you how I managed to do something very similar in Sierra Charts. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you one other feature in Jigsaw, which is the limit to price or stop to price feature. So I'll just drag over this window right here. So this is the trade window. Now these two buttons right here, one of them being limit to price, the other one being stop to price, what they essentially do is if you click on L2P and then you click above your price if you're long like this, it's gonna bring all your limit orders to that price. So now I have two limit orders that were brought to that price because I had two of them up here and they were both just brought to this price at 120 and a half. I'll try and demonstrate a better example of that right now. So what you can actually do in Jigsaw is you can hotkey limit to price and you can hotkey stops to price. So this is where it would be useful. Let's say you have three stop cells right there and you wanted to bring them all to the same price. You press your stop to price hotkey and then you click on the price you wanna bring them to and it will bring all your stops to that price. It works the same for limits. So let's say you're in a position and you have a whole bunch of orders 
at different prices and all of a sudden you want to decide you just want to bring all your limits to one price you press your limit to price hotkey and you click on the price and it brings them all to one price that is a great convenient feature okay we do not have time to click and drag and move orders individually and type stuff on your keyboard when the market's moving fast you need to react fast get in and out fast all right let's move on to sierra charts now so what I'm gonna do first of all is connect to my data feed. All right, so I've connected to my data feed, which is rhythmic. So I'm gonna show you what you need to know when it comes to moving orders quickly in Sierra charts, exactly the way I showed it to you on Jigsaw. First thing is you go to global settings, then you go to keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna go to trading keyboard shortcuts. And now this is what I've been able to work out, okay? More or less, and these two right here target order tick up and target order tick down as well as stop order tick up and stop order tick down i'm going to show you how these work okay furthermore the two settings i demonstrated in jigsaw which are these move attached targets to price and move attached stops to price they are both supported in sierra charts as well and i'm going to demonstrate that to you right now as well so check this out so i've got a bracket order configured here so a buy or sell limit order for two contracts the two limit orders are at two separate prices and the stop orders are at the same price okay now I've configured a couple of hotkeys here the first one being to move target order up or down if I press that hotkey you can see that it will move this target order up or down now if you want to know which target order it's gonna move and why it's not moving that one I've done the test and I figured out that it moves the target order or stop order that is closest to the current trading price so now let me demonstrate to that so I'm gonna place my limit order way down here now this order is closer to the price and you can see that if I press the same hotkey it moves that order that's an interesting logic that they have in this platform okay again I'll demonstrate it so now that this order is closer to that price it will move this order up and down by one tick now the click on the price thing that's not supported in Sierra charts so it looks like my limit order might be about to fill here so I filled it now you can see my stop order is down there I can also use the similar hotkey to move up and down my stop I've configured the other functionality which is move targets to price and move stops to price let me show you how that works real quick now if I use move targets to price, what it's going to do, it's gonna take my two targets and move them to whatever price my cursor is on. So watch this. From my understanding, you're not supposed to hold the move targets or move stops to price button. So what you do is you press it once and wherever your cursor is dragging, it will move your orders to that price. So that's pretty convenient. It's pretty much the same thing as clicking on the price. You're basically pressing a button wherever your cursor is. It works exactly the same way for the move stops to price. So wherever my cursor is, I'm pressing the move stops to price hotkey that I configured and it will move all my stops to that price. So this is very useful in the case I wanted to get out of a trade really quickly. So I can see this trade is going against me. I wanna move all my limits to this price. I press it and I got out, okay? That is essential for scalping, okay? So if you wanna scalp in equities or whatever, whatever market, crypto equities, my opinion, if I was scalping in those markets, I would need this functionality in my platform, which is why I'm talking to you about these platforms. So, you know, you could argue that it is a little annoying that the only way to move your nearest target order would be to use the target tick up or target tick down button. Since in Jigsaw, all you would do is click on the price. And if I clicked here, it would be moving that limit order. And that's pretty good because it takes away your other hand from having to press a whole bunch of buttons. I like the idea of just doing the majority of work with trading just with your mouse. So I guess that would be the one downside but if you did have to do this with Sierra charts, this would be the way to do it. And it's not so bad. I think it's pretty reasonable. So let's say, look, this trade's going against me a little bit here. I wanna move my stops to price, press stops to price, hover on the price, boom, and I got out. Actually, I pressed the limit to price, but it would have been the same outcome, except I would have slipped two ticks if I use a stop loss probably in a live market scenario. So that's pretty much what I wanted to demonstrate in this video, guys. When it comes to the overall comparison between Jigsaw and Sierra Charts, to be honest, Sierra Chart has a lot of advantages to it that Jigsaw doesn't. The one thing Jigsaw has that Sierra Chart doesn't is the integration of the journaling software, which I'm a big fan of, to be honest. Um, it basically journals your trades without you having to do any work, which is really convenient. You know, let's say you take 30, 40 trades in a session and you're scalping, 
if you have this journaling software linked up in Jigsaw, it does all the work for you automatically. It tells you exactly how many ticks on side and off sides your trades were. Sometimes it's not 100% accurate, but it's always within the ballpark. And it basically journals everything in regards to your trades and you can make notes on each individual trade. That software is called Journalytics. I'm a fan of it. All right, guys, so that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. If you enjoyed this content, smash the like button because it helps the channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care, bye.